the vibration of angel number 555 is all about taking action and just go for it. For you, my friend, now I got this from Google. All right, shout out to Google, the different websites, and I, I need to start. I'm not making money off this yet, but I need to start giving them credit. But Google, I'm gonna start using DuckDuckGo now, though. Because Google controls, you know, they won't let certain articles appear. Um, so five, um, entering this next phase in your life and it's all happening in our way. Well, according to this, it says, for you, my friend, it's pedal to the metal, entering the next phase in your life and it's all happening at a rapid pace. This wouldn't be happening for you now if one, the universe didn't think you were ready for these big, big changes, big changes. And two, these changes are for your highest good. The energy all around you has been amplified with abundance in all ways. Well, that's interesting. The energy around you has been amplified, amplified with abundance in all ways. You can do your part by continuing what you're doing so that you remain a vibrational match to your dreams and aspirations. This message says to keep an open mind about opportunities that present themselves because your prayers may be answered in ways that you could never have imagined. In other words, avoid becoming too attached to how and when your goals will manifest. Leave the details up to the universe or the creator God. While you continue to keep a positive outlook on life, giving thanks for even the smallest of blessings that come along the way, leading up to the big reveal. Life is like a TV show or like life is like Loki right now. You know, we're waiting for that big reveal. And even though not every episode has a big reveal, you're still thankful for each episode. Even if it's a chill episode with just talking. Um, angel number 555 is a message from your angels that it's time to let go of the old that is no longer positively serving you. Trust that they will be a place replaced with better. Release all doubts, fears, and perceived obstacles. And if feeling any fears or confusion, ask for support and guidance from your angels. Angel number 555 is a symbol of mercy and grace. Seeing triple five is a sign from your guardian angel that, you're, that the grace of God is upon your life. Either way, number 555 is sent as a reminder telling you that your angels are nearby and ready to help you make. Um, if you often see 555, it indicates you're a person who relishes opportunities to expand and grow. You constantly want to be in the middle of the action and are always looking to move forward in your life. That can be me sometimes, not all the time. Uh, when you see this number, it means that significant and necessary, necessary changes will be happening in your life. These are significant changes that will happen very soon that will bring you closer to fulfilling your life's mission. The numbers 555 are your angel's way of telling you that it's time to let go of things that are no longer working for you and to replace them with new and better ones. Which I said that earlier, I think. Um... So that's three fives, right? What if you see four fives? Is it different? Well, it says that quadruple five is an important message you need to pay attention to. It's telling you to keep, it's similar, telling you to keep down the same road you're on right now because your dreams and aspirations are soon going to come to life. Angel number quadruple five is also reminding you to keep your life in balance and harmony. So often, uh, the single number five is also, I wanted to learn about that. The belief that five was sacred led to an extra element, augmenting the traditional four that made a human being. In Islam, five is a sacred number. The belief that five was sacred led to an extra element, like I just said. Oh. The fifth, this fifth, Essence or quintessence is the origin of the word quintessential. 
um, Quintus, the fifth and highest element. Cause I was like, what the hell is that? Another element? So I was like, well, that's just something else. So the fifth and highest element in ancient and medieval philosophy that permeates all nature and is the substance composing the celestial bodies. The essence of a thing in its purest and most concentrated form. It's another definition or the most typical example or representative. In medieval philosophy, the known world was made up of four elements. Earth, air, water, and fire. The aether, or the ether, was number five. Earth, flood, air, fire. And this ethereal quintessence of heaven flew upward, spirited with various forms that rolled orbicular and turned to stars. Wow. So there's a book of John Milton's Paradise Lost where eight, where the archangel is talking to Satan and telling him about the creation. Um, in classical and medieval philosophy, yeah, we talked about that. So the aether, or the ether, which was in Thor, a special unknown substance that permeated the celestial sphere and was purer than any of the four celestial elements. The notion of a fifth element was broached by Plato and later written about by Aristotle, but neither philosopher used the term. One distinction that characterized the aether or the ether in uh, Aristotle's description was that it moved in a circular motion, while the four terrestrial elements moved linearly. So everything's in frequency, right? And everything is sound. In a way, right? So sound moves linearly, right? So if everything is a vibration and frequency, everything moves like straight ahead. So apparently the ether doesn't do that; it moves in circles. I'm trying to wrap my head around this. This is just above me, but I just, you know, I dived into this little rabbit hole because I was looking up five, five, five. Um, in Islam, five is a sacred number, like I said. Furthermore, foremost are the five pillars of Islam. The declaration of faith, prayer, fasting during Ramadan, giving alms, and making the pilgrimage to Mecca. Prayers are said five times every day. There are five categories of Islamic law and five law-giving prophets. Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. Incredible.